Really heartbreaking to those close to the family, that mother who was 38, a 19-year-old son who graduated from Roger Bacon High School, a 16-year-old who was a student at Purcell Marion, and according to students, a football player there. A tragedy today with a terrible tie to another one just a few months ago. The three who were found dead are Darlene Flores and her two sons, Eric Johnson Jr., known as E to his friends, and his younger brother Rodrigo, who they called Rod. Their deaths left relatives and friends dazed this morning. They came here to Canyon Drive in stunned disbelief. This is like my second family, like really my second home. We come here every day after school. Like everybody knows that it's it's us. Like it's always just us together. So that was my second mom. Like it was my second family. We spent Christmas together. We had matching outfits. We took family pictures together. Like this was really like a second family. Friends say they got a text message from Eric early today and became concerned. He said he loved us. He said he missed his sister. And that, was the, that was the last thing we heard from him. This is E and Rod with sister Isla at a much happier time. Last summer in Mount Healthy at age six, she was shot dead by her father, who police say then turned the gun on himself. Friends say Eric was struggling with the effect of that terrible event. He loved her more than anything. Like, Losing her, just, it destroyed my boy deep down. They say they were all together daily, as recently as last night, and that everything seemed to be okay. Check on those people, because when you know somebody's hurting, you know, after a while, people start to forget, but that pain is still with those people. So make sure you, you share your love, check on, on the ones that you love. Cincinnati police say each of the three had a gunshot wound, ruling it a double murder, suicide, telling us, friends telling us, it is something they never saw coming. Live in Avondale, John London, WWT News 5.